Hi, I'm Shabas from Zlearner. In this video, I will show you how to work with the variables in Drex. So let me just open my editor, Visual Studio Code. If you're watching this video for the first time, I would recommend you to watch my first and second video uh, to get started with Visual Studio Code and Drex. So I have opened in, I will open the Explorer here, File Explorer. So I just changed the directory to the one which I am currently working on which is Rexprox. So I will just create a new file here. Do it as program one dot zrx. I just open it and just close this one. So this is my new file. Let me just start with a rex command. So variables. Let me just go ahead and start with a string variable. So string one. This is my string. I will just go to the I will just assign another string to word and let me just do some manipulations here. String three is equals to what if I give string one? No string here, and after that string two. So what will be the result here? String one three. And let me just try to do some more operations here with the string tree. str1 and after that now I am pressing the symbol called pipeline which you can see uh, just below your backspace in the keyboard. So just do string 2 and if you are working in mainframe you might not get the same symbol here. For that what you need to do is you need to press alt and then you need to type 124 then it will get inserted. That is how you do in mainframe. Let me just say this one. Let me just add few more here. What if I add a space here? Does it have an impact? Let's we will see. So I will just add a space here. So I'll just make it as first second third fourth so this is about it let me just save this one let me run this one so to run the particular rex program uh, as I told earlier, we need to just type rex followed by the program name. So program one dot zrx. Just run it. You can see here. So the string three for the first time. So you can see this double quotes here is also adding nothing and just concatenating these two strings. So this is one way of concatenating two strings. And the second one, I just added a pipeline here two pipeline characters and it is also concatenating well and and the third one is I'm just adding even though I add a space before and after the two pipeline indicators it is concatenating without any extra space but when I add a space and before and after this double course space are getting added here so better way is to use these two concatenate symbols if you are concatenating two strings so this is about the strings one more thing I want to show you here is let me just try to drop a variable let's say string 2 so does it have an impact let me just see I'll just change this one let me just give it just space here let's see what will be the output here so it's with the time let's run Let's go to the fifth time. So you can see the since we drop the uh, Variable so the variable doesn't have the value now good. So instead what it will have is a Variable if it is not assigned with any value in Drex, it will have the value as the variable name itself With all the alphabetic characters in uppercase. So this is what happened here 
the str changed to the uppercase and str2 the variable name is displayed and it is just adding a space here since we gave you a space here so it's just adding a space and after that str2 so this is how it's working here and one more thing i want to show you is what if i change the case here of the variable does it have any impact let me just try to see different things str str let me just try to run this one again so you are getting the same output so in rex variables are case insensitive that is what i am trying to say here so we can uh, define any uh, variable name but at the end of the day it will take it as only one variable if all the characters are matched and uh, it is having in the same sequence so string str with small letters is similar to string 3 with capital letters str so this is about strings uh, in the, my next video i will discuss about the numbers floating numbers and handling the big numbers so thanks for watching guys see you next video